Kill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We're going to talk about sidechain compression. Uh, this is two different methods of sidechaining here in Bitwig Studio. We have the new audio sidechain mod and then the old way of doing it through the dynamics uh, right here. And then uh, so it's just two different ways of doing pretty much the same thing. And there's several other ways to actually do it here in Bitwig Studio. Um, Bitwig Studio is getting more and more complex as far as uh, modulation and routing and that so on so right here we have a this channel here we just have a 4-4 kick drum right there you know and then in channel 2 we got a bass patch here this is the polysynth bass so pretty dirty sounding bass just the polysynth and then we have some uh, whoops we have an effects chain here you know a filter a compressor chain Inside the compressor, there's some distortion, you know, so a chain within a chain. We're going to go ahead and close the polysynth down. Uh, you can see side chain one is going to be our dynamics. Uh, our input is going to be, of course, our uh, our drum machine kick sample out right there. And that's going to be our uh, incoming uh, side chain signal, uh, which is going to trigger the side chain on this particular dynamics. And then inside of here, we have a side chain effects. You got to put a uh, EQ in there and uh, cut that low end because that low end is going to over is going to push your side chain it's going to cause um, some disturbances in there so it's very important that you uh, eq the signal coming into your uh, your dynamics uh, processor here and so that's what we're doing right here and you have a nice little effect slot for that right here on the dynamics uh, um, the dynamics unit here in Bitwig Studio. Super handy. So that's uh, technique one. Technique two, we have uh, the new audio side chain with the new mod device right here. And what we're doing is we're modulating the amplitude of this tool device. What happens is as the signal's coming in here, it's causing this to modulate the amplitude down. And now you can control that very similar to the EQ here. In other words, you can uh, you have a high and low cut here. So you can actually... Uh, you know cut the highs out or cut the lows out of the side chain signal very similar to this method so two different methods of doing the same thing um and i actually prefer the old dynamics process i just i seem to be getting a better result maybe i just haven't mastered this uh, audio side chain modular device yet i mean i gotta work with it more but anyway we'll, we'll play this up real quick and uh you can kind of be the judge so first off we're gonna go let's close this stuff down here so you can see what's going on uh, first off, we're going to do uh, just the normal dynamic side chain. That's with no side chain.
Now, what I've always found is if you're looking at the visuals, um, visually, if you get that reverse shark fin, it always seems to, in my opinion, have the best sound. And you can get that by, a, you know, the, the four main controls are going to be your, your ratio, your high threshold, your attack and release, and then, of course, your roll-off. So basically five variables you can control to get that shark fin. And then if your attack and release are really going to affect the overall sound of your side chain probably more than just about anything. Um, but if we close that down, you can see um, the same type of thing, that reverse shark fin, except we're looking up here. So visually, we're looking up here. Um, if we play this again, you can see. A similar kind of reverse shark fin. You just don't want it to be uh, you know too jagged or flat that's when you're kind of crushing your your side chain you know if i uh you know increase this ratio too much you a little bit of a flat it's cutting off same with the high threshold if it's too low you're not getting enough um same with your attack and release you're getting it flat So yeah, I just recommend adjusting uh, those five parameters, your ratio, your high threshold, your attack release, and then rolling off the low end until you get kind of that reverse shark fin. This blue line represents zero. That represents no um, reduction in a uh, signal. And then, of course, the bottom represents uh, your maximum uh, dB of loss. All right. Chill computer guy, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I uh, hope you learned a little bit uh, about sidechain compression. Like I say, I'm not an expert in this, but um, and there are more than this, just these two ways to do this in Bitwig Studio. But we were just looking at the uh, the Dynamics plugin and then the uh, the sidechain um, modulator device in here, which if you hit plus, you can find that right under uh, Audio Sidechain right here. So uh, using the new modulator to sidechain which is named audio sidechain so that sounds pretty specific to me but this is really useful for taking that audio signal and basically modulating anything anywhere on any vst with that audio signal which i think is a very powerful thing but i actually still prefer to use the dynamics plugin personally for my side chaining all right if you haven't already please subscribe we'll see you guys soon later And this, this is with both.